me some money, dude. <laughs> Might as well. Well, you guys tell them for me. Now I'm going to tell them. <laughs> we'll pass it on. I'm telling them right now. <laughs> That's it. Rez, I know you were supposed to, supposed to fight earlier this year, like a rescheduling, then a cancellation. I guess, what, what happened with all that, and what was that like for you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys know these sports. It's like uh, you start camp, injuries, stuff happen, and it was one of, uh, it was a bad one, so. I had to take time off to heal and everything, yeah, so. Nice. I was going to ask, it's frustrating, but I know you've had some trials and tribulations in your life. I guess at this point, do things like that, like, just don't even bother you anymore? Nah, like, oh, yeah. yeah. Those, those kind of stuff, no. I feel like I've gotten so strong mentally, you know. Um, I've always, I was always strong mentally because of the African side of me. It's like you have to grind for everything you got. You have to, like... Yeah, it sucked, right? So I, I had different type of mentality, right? The African head strong. But I feel like there was a lot of different mental game that I could have added to that besides just being, you know? And I feel like now I'm there. I think maybe because I'm getting old too, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like it. You know, it's funny because we were looking out here and we saw you and Joe Pfeiffer meet across. Yeah. And I, we we kind of thought, uh-oh. Is this going to be a problem right here? Yeah, if, if he was Buckley, I would have smacked the shit out of him. But, you know, he, he's, he's very nice. You know, he, um, you know it's hard to be, to be like, Eesh. when I saw him, I wanted to be, but, you know, he's, he's very nice. So it's hard for you to be. But on Saturday, it's going to be a whole different. He's not going to see that nice guy he just saw. Definitely not. Nice. So. Is that like a maturing process of you? Like, like a few years ago, would it not have been? Oh, hey, hey, yes. A few years ago, you never see me talk to somebody. Hell no. Like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to go smack the shit out of you. I don't want you to come talk to me, you know, when I'm trying to, you know. But I think it's part of maturity, you know. I know when to calm down, and I know when I'm supposed to pick it up, you know. And also, if you guys watch most of my fight, I always go in the berserk. <laughs> Let's go. Now... You, you fuck them up slow. Yes. yes. <laughs> I like that. Uh, you say he's a nice guy, but uh, let's talk about the opponent. Like, it's different on Saturday night. Yes. What do you think about him? I mean, a hard hitter, right? He's got a little bit of hype behind him. Yes. What do you think about him as a fighter? Yeah, he's a, I think he's a good fighter. I would never talk down on it. In the UFC, there's no easy fights. You cannot be like, you know, but there's levels to this. You get what I'm trying to say? I know he's good, but he's never faced anybody like me. He's never faced anybody. He's going to stand there, and he's going to realize this is the fucking son of Al Hassan Garba. You do not fuck with Al Hassan Garba. That's for sure. I love it. It feels like, uh, man, this new sharpness, this new focus that maybe you haven't had before. Is this like a new chapter in your career? That's what I think. But I'm just getting old as shit. I think that's why. I know I look sexy, but, you know, I'm still 38 years old, you know. And I think it's just, like, uh, getting older and learning how to, like, channel stuff, you know. And I'm... I'm loving it. I'm loving my new self and how things are going. And this division is just going to cry, I bet you. They're going to cry. That's awesome. Yeah. Last thing for me, uh, I know you've been sharing a lot about Ghana and about Africa. I know there's still some things to happen, but if this UFC Africa fight card happens, I imagine you got to be on there. Oh, you're damn right. They better put me on there. Is this, are they trying to make one? They are. They are? Well, they're talking about it. Oh, I, I hope they do. But that's, that's home, man. And I want them to feel the African energy, like when... When the sports, the, the energy is just different. The arena is just different. I cannot wait. I hope they do it so I can be one of those. Yes. Hey, man. You know, uh, I was going to ask you if your maturity had sort of calmed it down, but it sounds like you're still not a big fan of Buckley. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you guys know that guy's a fucking bitch, right? Seriously, I'm not. This is just, uh, yeah, 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 that guy. And also everything he does now is just for fucking clout. He just went to, like, he see you, you know. He, but he's a cool dude. And, you know, when, one thing I realized, he act hard for the camera, right? But when he's in the back, he's all nice, you know? And the reason why I didn't, I don't give crap about him right now is because, one, Joe is the priority right now. I cannot be putting my anger on somebody else when I know there's somebody else standing in front of me. One for the future, though, maybe. No, for the future, yeah, you guys will see me smack him. I hope, very, I hope he comes back. You know, I'm getting old. I don't want to go back to 70, right? But I really hope he comes up back to 80. And, and if that fight happens, I promise you guys, most of the fight is going to be just my palm open, just smacking the shit out of him the whole fucking fight. 
Thank you. So. Over here. Obviously, you focus on Joe Pfeiffer, but um, a fight with Bruno Ferreira hasn't been uh, able to materialize quite yet. Is that still something you want in the future? To be honest, uh, he was uh, the one I thought out. So when after I, um, whatever I went through, right, I was offered him again as a rematch, and then I, I accepted the fight. My, my manager asked me, and I was like, yeah, I accepted the fight. And then all of a sudden, he, it didn't go through with him, and then I got, I got your fight for so. And obviously, like, sharing the card with your good friend, Joaquin Buckley. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you guys are going to run into each other sometime during fight week. Or no, fight. no, we've already run each other, like, twice already. How'd the interaction go? Huh? How'd the interaction go? How do you guys think? Smiley, he was like, hey, I'm on. Yeah. What did he say to you? Uh, what did he say to you? He said, I'm oh, nice to see you. And then I guess he told the equipment room that he wants to be in the same room with me. He likes me and that kind of stuff. But yeah, yeah, he's not even my problem right now. But ask me after my fight. And I'll just, you guys, you feel all that energy that I have inside me drop. So, yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Abdul, a uh, quick one for me. Yes. How exciting is it when you got that, the name, when you talk to management you're, or you got the contract, not only the main card, the co-main, yes. but also some, a guy that you know is going to come right at you and you guys are going to really, really fuse together and give us an exciting fight. Exciting fight. Yes, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm really hoping for exciting fights because I thought that Buckley's bitch-ass fight was going to be exciting until he started being like, let me shoot for his leg, let me shoot for his leg, right? Yeah, so I really hope he brings it so we can give the fans, you know, some good taste of how good power works. He has, a, he has a lot of power. I know I have a lot of power. Let's just go there and then let's see who's going to be looking at the light afterwards. Yes. I can't wait. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. You know, when Buckley was in here, he took his shirt off. Do you think that was for clout as well? Of course. That, that motherfucker, everything he does is for clout. Have you guys not realized that shit? He's probably going to put on Instagram that he has his shirt off and shit. Fuck him. Just because of him, I'm going to take my shit off too. Yeah, mother. Mm. <laughs> you got, are you guys doing this intentionally to get on my nerves today? <laughs> <laughs> ah, when I was coming here, I was like, I'm going to get my USA in, you know? My USA. You guys just took that. You guys just took that USA out of me. I'm putting my shirt back on. <laughs> We good? Yeah, yeah. yeah, thank you very much. You guys know how to bring that Usa, take that Usa away from me. I was trying to be